Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Hi everyone, let me introduce myself My name is Fiona Exelian Chani Kelvin NPM 2081173 I'm a student of the psychology faculty Majoring in psychology at the Islamic University of Riau I made this video to fulfill a social psychology course assignment From Mr. Fikri as a social psychology lecturer Well, here I will explain material about social prejudice There will be seven points that I will explain including The definition of social prejudice, the characteristics of social prejudice, source of causes of social prejudice, factors influencing social prejudice, theories of social prejudice, how to overcome social prejudice, and impact of social prejudice. The first is the definition of social prejudice. Prejudice is limited as a negative trait that cannot be justified against a group and its individual members. Prejudice is negative behavior that leads a group to individualism based on limitation or misinformation about the group. Prejudice is the result of social interaction, so prejudice is mostly caused by social factors. Prejudice can also be defined as something that is emotional, which will easily become a motivator for the emergence of a social expression. The second of the characteristics of social prejudice. According to Brigham, the characteristics of social prejudice can be seen from the tendency of individuals to create social categories or social categorization. Social category is the tendency to divide the social world into two groups, namely our group or in-group and their group or out-group. In-group is a social group where individuals feel they belong or belong, while out-group is a group outside their own group. The emergence of social prejudice can be seen from feelings in group and out group strengthen. Characteristics of social prejudice based on the information for these feelings, group and out group are the process of generalizing to the actions of other group members, social competition, extreme judgment of other group members, effect of selective perception and past memories, feelings of frustration, aggression between groups, and dogmatism. The third is a source of social prejudice. The sources of the causes of prejudice in general can be seen based on three fields, namely 1. Social prejudice Sources of social prejudice, among others, social inequality, social identity, and conformity. 2. Emotionally prejudice Emotionally, prejudice can be triggered by frustration and aggression, dynamic personality, and authoritarian personality. 3. Cognitive prejudice Social thinking about prejudice is a belief that has been stereotyped and prejudice attitude arise not only because of social conditioning, so that they can cause conflict but are also the result of normal thought process. The word is the vectors that influence social prejudice. The process of forming social prejudice is influenced by several factors, namely personality influence, education and status, the influence of children's education by parents, group influence, political and economic influence, the effect of communication, effect of social relations. The fifth is the theory of social prejudice. The emergence of prejudice and why prejudice appears in social interaction, namely, one, realistic conflict theory. This theory reveals that the occurrence of competition and conflict between group can be increased the tendency to be prejudiced and discriminated against members of the outgroup. 2. Social learning theory. According to social learning theory, prejudice is something that is learned just as individuals learn other social values. 3. Cognitive theory. Cognitive theory explains how individuals think about prejudice, how individuals process information and subjectively understand the world and other individuals. 4. Psychodynamic theory. According to psychodynamic theory, prejudice is a diverse aggression. Diversion of aggression occurs when the source of the frustration cannot be attacked because the fear and the source of the frustration are completely absent. 5. Social Categorization Theory The world is an infinite complex. Through categorization, we make it simple and we can understand. 6. Social Comparative Theory We always compare ourselves to other people and our group to other groups. Things that we are compared almost everything we have, ranging from social status, economic status, beauty, personality, character, and so on. The consequence of comparison is that one thing is better or worse than another. 7. Biological Theory According to this approach, prejudice has a biological basis. The hypothesis is that the tendency to dislike other groups and things that don't belong to us is inflated in our genes, like relative deprivation. Relative deprivation is a psychological state in which a person feels dissatisfied with the subjective gaps or shortcomings uh, he feels when himself and group are compared with other people or groups. 
to six way to reduce social prejudice. There are several ways that can be done to reduce and prevent prejudice, namely make direct contact, teach children not to hate, optimizing the role of parents, teachers, adult individuals who are considered important by children, awareness of individuals to learn to make difference about other individuals, namely learning to know and understand other individuals based on their unique characteristics, not only based on the individual's membership in certain groups. The second is the impact of social prejudice. Impact of social prejudice. Social prejudice can harm society in general and the organization in particular. This happens because social prejudice can hinder the development of individual potential to the fullest. Furthermore, social prejudice not only affect the behavior of adults but also children, so that it can limit their opportunities to develop into people who have tolerance for target groups such as minority groups. Well, maybe that's all my explanation about the material of social prejudice. Thank you for your attention. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.